Idaho may be best known for potatoes, but there's more to the state than just spuds. It's a state of forest, mountains, and big rivers. The Snake River is probably the best known. It sweeps across the southern end of the state and heads north. Gen Xers know it as the river Evil Knievel tried to jump across in 74. The main salmon's the other big river. It flows across the central part of Idaho, passing through the 2.3 million acre Frank Church River of No Return Wilderness Area before it flows into the Snake River. Each summer, about 7,000 people float the main. It's so popular, there's a lottery to get a permit. Our buddy Dave got lucky this year and drew a permit, and we were invited to go along. It's a wilderness float, so we put in where the road ends at Corn Creek, and over the next six days, we floated about 80 miles to the Cary Creek takeout. We were a big group, six rafts, two cataracts, four kayaks, five inflatable kayaks, and one brave stand-up paddleboarder. 29 people from ages 12 to 85 and three dogs, but only two groovers. For those of you who have not used a groover, I'll explain what a groover is in a bit. Get it. Summertime in Idaho often means wildfires and smoke. This year was no exception. Smoke from the Dixie Fire was thick a couple of days, but we were fortunate the fire hadn't reached the river by the time we floated by it. A few days later, the fire reached the river where we had camped.
everybody poops. And when you're in a narrow canyon with no bathroom facilities, it's got to go somewhere. The Groover is the solution. The Groover is a metal box with an attached toilet seat. It's placed in a scenic spot away from camp so you can enjoy the view while you take care of your business. Hey, do you hear banjo music? <laughs>